Today on Rift Beards and Gear, we check out my very special Dual Rectifier Revision D from Maze of Boogie. You guys know I have been a long time fan of dual rectifiers. I have had many of them of all iterations, shapes and sizes on this channel. And I have personally owned probably, I don't know, 30 rectifiers, triples, duals, solo heads, minis, all sorts of stuff. However, this dual rectifier is very, very cool. And it's one that I have been wanting to own for quite a long time. This is a Revision D dual rectifier from 1992, serial number 334, making it the 334th rectifier ever made. Pretty cool. Now, as revisions go, the very first rectifiers were Revision Cs as Revision A and B were prototypes that were never actually released to the public, but Funny enough, the rectifiers were actually meant for the hair metal 80s, but they just took too long in developing the rectifier. And by the time it came out, the grunge movement had happened and they kind of had to quickly revoice the amplifiers to be not so mid-range heavy and to be voiced a little bit more applicable to the detuning that was happening in a lot of the popular music at the time. This revision D, is one of those early rectifiers and it doesn't really sound like a regular run of the mill two channel dual rectifier. It doesn't sound like any rectifier that I have ever owned. It kind of has this uh, nasally mid range quack. And as my buddy Reza describes, Rev D's have the low end of a flat tire, which I don't know if I really agree with them. However, this is definitely a very, very unique amp. Now I'm gonna play this for you guys in a mix and the only processing I'm gonna do is some very, very basic uh, high and low pass filtering using uh, an SSL G channel plugin. But other than that, the processing is gonna be all on the two bus and what you're going to hear is really just the boosted rectifier tone as it sounds coming out of the Mesa Boogie 212 cabinet that is mic'd up with a Lawton LS308 and an Earthworks uh, SR24 condenser mic. And uh, yeah, I am boosting it with a way huge green Rhino. And uh, yeah, Musing Music Man Stingray with a Duncan distortion in the bridge. So let's hear this thing in a mix. Now, one of the other cool things about the early rectifiers, at least this one, is there's actually a pretty usable clean channel, which the same can't really be said for the Rev G's or even my Rev F that I have, which you guys have seen on this channel many, many times. This is just a totally different thing. And the values of the pots and the knobs are totally different. The taper of the volumes per channel are totally different. Um, they were really just trying to figure it out and they put the rectifier out in eh, you know, uh, spring of 1992. And they were really just kind of throwing parts in it and really seeing what was just sticking to the proverbial wall, which is why they had so many revisions. They had C, D, E, F, and G. Pretty cool piece of history. Um, I will also note that this is equipped with uh, a set of vintage 12AX7 Shuguang Chinese uh, preamp tubes that I have sourced, uh, which is what would have came stock in this amplifier. And there is a set of STR Mesa Boogie uh, 445 power tubes, which is just the JJ6L6s. And the rectifier tubes are GZ34 for you nerds out there. So let's, uh, let's plug this in and just give it a casual playthrough, shall we?
So what do I think? You know what, honestly, this is one of my favorite rectifiers I have ever owned. I've actually had this and I've been playing it for several months now. Uh, when I initially got it, it had some noise problems, but I didn't think anything was like really wrong with it. I sent it down to Mike B at Mesa Boogie to go over it and it actually needed a transformer. It needed a whole bunch of internal stuff, not a whole bunch, but just some regular maintenance stuff. It needed things like caps, a couple of resistors, and a couple of LDRs that had gone bad, which is pretty standard for a 28-year-old amplifier. However, Mike B was able to return it to complete stock form, which I am very happy about, and it sounds way better after I got it back from Mesa Boogie. So shout out to my friends at Mesa Boogie for making this, uh, in fine working order once again. And really, it's a very, very clean amplifier for being so old. I am very, very fortunate to own this and you guys will be seeing it plenty more on future videos on this channel. Oh, pick up a link down below. You and wonderful Ivan Fluff. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed the video that you just watched, please consider subscribing. It helps me help you and then in turn you get more stuff to watch and also I have all sorts of stuff down in the description of this video. Sweetwater giveaway stuff, there's all sorts of links to all sorts of things so consider uh, checking that out as well if you're gonna hang. But if you don't hang, all good. I still love you.